What's up dudes, Kublik on here, welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul who is carrying five fusion cores at the moment and is overlooking a cool house and a beautiful riverside. And I do believe that this is actually a settlement. I don't 100% know, but I remember this sort of cavern over here. And I also remember like, I, I, but I've just never been to the super mutant spot, so I'm not sure. But I do remember this cabin. We were just dealing with a super mutant here. I think it would make sense to try to go to this house because it should have a bunch of bugs in it, if I recall correctly. And these bugs, if we clear them out, it's a settlement. That comes with beds, other variety of fantastical things that we can take advantage of. So I think it makes a lot of sense to just cross the water and see if this is what that is. I mean, because if there's a bed in there, I'm going to take that save. Like, and then I'm going to be able to go back and fight that super mutant who had a rocket launcher. Just, oh man. Yep, blood bug right there. We'll go ahead and pull out ooh baby. So there, nothing against radiation damage. Or does that, you know, so once we get that radiation gun, we might be able to do some significantly cool stuff on a lot of our opponents. There we go, let them get close. Two shots. Whoa! God, that sound is so scary, that boom. Oh, that came from me. All right, so we're in danger. There's gonna be a couple of these guys in here. Now, blood bug meat? You don't often get blood bug meat until you get that one uh, thing that gives you the double meat for killing animals. Now, when you get that magazine, these blood bugs tend to have meat way more often, and normally they don't have a lot of it. And blood bug meat is actually very valuable. Gotta clear the enemies. We're not completely free of them all yet. All right, I hear them, but I don't... I like attacking them from outside in. I think that's a good way to do... Oh, I hear... see one. I thought I saw one. I think I just saw some fire. If I hear... Oh, God, that buzzing is irritating as hell. I do not like giant mosquito bug things. Now, it's not like I go, ugh, when I see them. These ones, I kind of do. Oh my God, there's a frag mine outside? Holy crap. Let's, uh, let's hit the frag mine real quick. Uh, got it. Another hatchling, another hatchling. Okay. Oh, now we can see the blood bug up there. I kind of want to kill it with fire, but I think we should save uh, our Molotov cocktails. You know, uh-oh. That's actually a really powerful blood bug. That, in fact, might be worthy killing it with fire. Holy crap, are they powerful. I'm gonna actually pull out the Righteous Authority for this one. Hit it with a critical first, too. Wow, that is a strong bug. God. All right, we got a critical back. Jeez, it was on fire. It... All right, we got them. We got all of them. Oh, and they got a bag for us to sleep in. That one turned into a giant pile of goop. Fortunately, we can't break into all these yet. I was just talking about all the, the money problem, but here we go. We can get a lot of stuff from this, a lot of shotgun shells, and a tuxedo, if we so choose. Turn that off. It's the Wanderer. Margaret's Note. Oh, yeah, so this is a, actually kind of a sad uh, location. It's a, a group of people lived here, and as they lived here, they uh, for some something happened that, well, one of them started missing because they had heard about a bunch of chems. Ooh, that's a nice bed. They heard about a bunch of chems stashed away, and... It's actually a really cool little side mission, which uh, we're gonna go do because it's actually beneficial for our character to do this one. Ooh, grilled radstag meat from that super crazy moment when we ran into an actual uh, legendary ragstag. I mean, just, that was such an interesting find. Okay, so I'm gonna load all my junk into this place after we kind of do a bit of looting. Tension trigger. I don't know what that was going to detonate, but I didn't like seeing it. I'm kind of just picking up everything I find right now because I'm at a sanctuary, you know, a sanctuary. I'm at a settlement. So I don't have to worry too much. We just, bloop, drop it in. Okay, this Brahmin looks disgusting, which I think is kind of cool because it's like this. They're attacked by bugs, right? And so then the bug just like dried everybody up. Okay, now I've been in here before. I don't know what these laser trip wires are supposed to do. I guess the shotgun? 
is what they're trying to stop. People going to the shotgun, but I'm not sure. Wonder glue and a scalpel. Nice. Ooh, fiber optics and crystal. That's nice to have there. We can actually probably set up a pretty quality location here. All right, so we have our bed. We dropped our save. I don't yet want to go after the super mutant, but let's make sure that we put them on the map so that we know that we're going to get there again. What I want to do is, you know, hold on. Let's listen to this. This is the note that was basically them saying, hey, our, you know, brother is missing. Uh, we found something about talking about chems and thought he'd go check it out. Maybe we could sell them. Maybe buy a Brahmin. So it's, uh, you see, that was picked off of the mother who is dead there. So then we can go in this direction. This is the, like, the kind of sewer area they were talking about. I'm going to pull out, do you feel luck? Actually, I'm going to pull out, I don't need luck. And we're just going to, I guess I don't need to, I don't need luck right now. I think, holy crap, it's really close by. Yeah, you know what, that'll do. Oh, we're in danger. We are in danger. I don't know quite from what yet. Oh, I missed. One more shot. Got that one. You're a VAT shot 77%. I'll take it. Cool. More coming. Ooh, they're descending upon us. Got you. Oh, I missed. Into the water. Uh, ooh, baby. Switch to ooh, baby. Turn. Perfect. All right, we're just going to fire on you first. Single shot to kill. We're running low on 10 millimeter. I was talking about how... Got him. I was talking about what we were gonna do in some of the some of the situations like this, but uh, we're running low on 10 millimeter. We might do scrounger for sh like because I am switching weapons, but I don't want to have to rely on switching weapons because that is very heavy, and I'd rather just focus on one gun that's doing really well and have to make certain. Uh oh, still in danger. I don't want to have to make certain sacrifices purely because I don't have enough of one ammunition. Not having these enemies on the compass markers is pretty terrifying. Of a, all right, hear more. There we go. Oh, I missed. Got him. Still in danger though. Coming from behind. Just hatchlings at the moment. How did you miss? So close. How did you miss? All right, I don't hear anything any longer, but we definitely are in caution. We aren't clear yet. Oh, here, here's Margaret. Russell's note. Oh, no. I haven't actually read Russell's. Oh, man. So he just comes by real quick. I'm going to trade, come by by evening, and no worries. Don't worry about it too much. Like, I'll be back soon. Oh, it's no cool to see all of them dead. All right, I see another blood bug over there. Just a hatchling. A fragmine. All right, well, let's get him with, do you feel lucky? Actually, we don't need to do that. We should use this, the quiet, because look, easy. Easy. Another hatchling. Easy. All right. There it is. Another hatchling. Oh, damn it. Oh, I love this silenced weapon. Uh-oh. Two shots, we'll get one of them for sure. It's a 50% chance, or higher than 50. Got him, okay. Second one, 76% chance, gonna get him. Level 19. Remember when we had gotten up to level 19 before? Oh wait, or is this the second time? Or, oh, or did we, wait, wait, we're at four luck? We're at four luck. Oh man. Okay, so either the AP or this, I think we need to do scrounger first. I think that's the safer bet. It'll give us more money. Uh, it's, it's, I think that's the right choice. I'm not 100% sure. I kind of want to just keep upping luck. And we're kind of leveling up a little bit faster now, which is nice. Dude, I don't know exactly if that's, like, what's, uh oh Woo, I got really close to that, but I didn't manage to set it off. Oh, it's an advanced terminal. Damn it, we could have, uh, kept doing that and been able to get in here just now. Oh, well. More scrounger. Should have checked before I did it. Could have had a lot of ammunition in the long, but hey, long run, at least it's, things are working out. So no wibbly wobbly brackets, another frag mine, and this is why I came. I happen to know that there's a fusion core in here. Oh, pledge initiate instructions. So he got in here, he got his blood sucked dry from him. If you read the pledge initiate instructions, these are actually a tape. Greetings, brothers. You are here because it is that time of year when we induct our newest members into this most esteemed fraternity. Before their initiation is complete, they 
must be prepared to receive the mysteries of our order. You can find the substances necessary to open their minds in the drainage. As <laughs> you all remember from your own initiation. Remember that the pledges should be blindfolded before you bring them up the canal. And keep an eye out for anyone out late in the park. The elders will be by Sunday evening for the dinner, and all new pledges must be present, so stick <laughs> to the normal dosage. Orto Oblitus Osa! Oh, I can't reach through and grab it. That's interesting. They just have this, like, group that basically the drainage releases some toxins and then they have them just trip off on the wastewater. Uh, oh, they also have the chemistry station, so possibly they actually use some of this stuff. Ooh, Psychojetta here is really good. That's, so it's possible they use some of this stuff in a, a different way. But hey, yeah, you know, there you go. And uh, unfortunately, no chems that were available, but did you see the gun we picked up? So this is a 308 revolver pistol. This is suppressed as well. Now, if we look at our do you feel lucky compared to this, that does 85 at 45. But if we look at I don't need luck, that's 121. What if we were able to try altering this a little bit to see if we were able to make it as strong as this one? This one is clearly way better. I was all like, woo, let's do it. Because I was thinking that a 308, instead of having to crank every time, you have a revolver click. And so that would give it the ability to fire more rounds with less in between time. However, we can see that in fact it's, well actually let's give it a try. Oh wait, but we don't have a lot of 308s. I don't want to give it a try yet. Oh, but you can, as you can see, it's not exactly like the same as a 308. It's possible that our other pistol that we're using that has the crank to it will in fact be faster. It's also possible that it will be more powerful purely from the fact that it has a powerful pipe thing to it, so that could be pretty legit too. And I mean, that's that's the big one. Is if it has the power, like it's just something that makes it extra powerful. Wow, 15 max health in an hour, a lot of food, perfect. Anything that provide adhesive, or I think pre-war money is worth keep holding on to. I don't really think we need leather. Uh, I'll take a spring period. But you know, the things that I think are harder to find and are really important for leveling up guns, because we have a couple guns that we're gonna experiment with, so that should be good to do. Our character is going to take a nap here for eight hours. I think that will be just full sleep. I know we weren't even a little bit tired, but I want to take all of that because when we are moving up to special delivery and doing that, it's, you know, we, our biggest problem was that we kept being thirsty. We kept being tired. So if we can get, you know, ourselves pretty much 100% well rested for when we finally get there, that'll be perfect. And I mean, I know we're also like kind of bouncing around and, for one, we're gonna check out and see if we can take out Hammer because I'm super excited about that possibility. He is on, remember, a rocket launcher wielding, too high a level for us character. But it doesn't mean we won't be able to blow the face off of him. Climb up the tree. Okay, I did this earlier. I can do it this time. Ha ha! Ha ha! Success! All right. Oop, there he is. All right, so we're gonna hit him with Righteous Authority. First, we're gonna hit him with a Plasma Grenade, though. Actually, first we're gonna hit him with Righteous Authority, Critical Headshot. Oh. Then we're gonna throw a Plasma Grenade. Oh, he tried to shoot it! Throw a second Plasma Grenade. Fire on Hammer. Get that Critical back up. Critical's back up, fire the critical. All right. Whoa, holy crap, that one was real close. That one was very close. And I didn't expect him to have more dudes there. Holy shit. All right, let's take this opportunity to back around, go slow, A lot of holes in the walls here. Plenty of points to fire in on. All right, we're gonna take this side now. We're almost out of danger, per perfect, perfect, per man, words are hard. Super mutant normal, fire on him. No, actually, we'll use our own fist. Boom, he climbed the roof. Hey, how many rockets does this dude have? Quick, to this, to right here. 
If we we gotta stick to the walls, apparently. I didn't expect him to climb up. I mean, the thing is, if he's above us, that gives him a lot, a lot of a great angle on us. All right, quick, danger, go, 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 jump, crouch, back in caution. Any more super mutants who will reveal our location? No, it looks like it's just hammer. Oh yeah. There he is. Out in the open. Get him with the Molotov. Fire away! Fire the lasers! Alright. Got it. Quick. Headshot. Critical hit. Ha ha ha. Oh, we got him. We're still in danger though. There's a frag mine out there. I don't see who is endangering us. Now, I kept hearing what sounded like a horn blow. So it could have been this mutant hound repeatedly going, No, oh, where'd it go? There it is. Could have been this mutant hound repeatedly like announcing that I was here. Pew! Oh, nice. Oh, bounce around you little silly dude. <gasps> Hidden! Woo! All right, I'm gonna loot. Oh man, they got music going in here. Look at the, the backyard bunker. Ooh, I can't wait to get down there. Oh, they had a ripper just hanging out here. That's pretty sick. All right, we'll get to the backyard bunker in a little bit. I'm first gonna check uh, the above ground. Oh, a lot of ammunition. A lot of valuable things there. Find a cap stash, some duct tape. This is just a general set of homes here. This is pretty sick. It reminds me of Sanctuary a little bit. Just walking through that the first time you ever go through it and you're just sort of finding all the destroyed everything. And now I'm kind of just like, oh wow, master safe. I'm kind of just used to the depravity. I'm just like, oh yeah, look, a fan, of course. Nuka-Cola, mol a Molotov cocktail. Oh, we are overweight. Oh, a lot of ammo and things. Okay, I, mean, I love dropping a ton of, I don't know why I dropped the adjustable wrench, but I love dropping a ton of guns. It always makes me laugh when I see that giant pile place on the ground. Ooh, hammer. I definitely don't need a missile launcher or two missiles. Although I kind of want them for when we're going to fight some of the dudes at the house where they had the serum and the like. Fortunately, I'm putting down the missile launcher. I think that's the right choice. Oh, here's where they cook the humans. Nice to see that. Oh, they had raiders here before. That's interesting to see. Hammer's holotape. I'm excited. Human. Did you make the machine work? Good. Fist, this is Hammer. Fist! I got a human to make the machine work. We found a good place. Already has walls and water. Some human made a tiny room underground with many good things inside. Send more people so we can raid more. We give you these guns for trade. Okay, human. Make the machine stop recording now. Human, not time for sleep. Stop bleeding and work the machine. Ah, fine. Hammer will fix it. <laughs> Didn't mean to pick up a bowling ball. I want to throw the bowling ball. Rule breakers, rule one, no fighting. Hey! St oh, it wasn't a strike. League bowling pin. Something special about it being a league bowling pin? Oh, look, there's caps and stuff behind it. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, so apparently that there is a tiny room in the ground with lots of good things inside. Fist is trading with, uh, or Hammer is trading with Fist, which I think is pretty cool. I like that. That's a that's an interesting group thing. I like to hear a little bit about, here, we're going to just do a quick save. I like hearing about what it's like being a super mutant. I think that's something that, you know, it's it's not talked a lot about. And, you know, you, they're just sort of the bad guys. And so it's cool to kind of see what's going on in here. Oh, wow. Power relay coil just hidden in one of these drawers. Safe in the ground, novice. There's a lot of interesting laser weapons hidden away in a lot of these places. Boston 
Mayoral bathroom key. Oh, now I'm carrying too much to run? 11 mines and grenades. Jesus Christ, we are exploding happy. Fortunately, we're a little, uh, like, struggling with weight, so I'm actually going to put the champion left arm on right now to just kind of beef up what we're able to carry. I'm picking up just a lot of things I'm finding around junk-wise. I'm going to just have to get rid of them, I think, too. This definitely has the most protection on it, and what looks like some wiring. Figured! Figured that would be the case. Figured it was like, it looks like there'd be a reason for them to try to protect this area from something or for something. Not sure. All right, well, they got a terminal, and they got an expert. Oh, bummer. That's, uh, we need to be able to crack either the terminal or the computer to do that. A couple of ales and stouts just lined up nicely. That's pretty cool. Up, oh, we have, uh, the bathroom scale, which was designed, I'm sure, we'll to, to uh... This. Oh, it's an advanced... It was designed... If somebody breaks in through that way. Another bathroom scale explosive somewhere in sh here, I'm sure. Grenade bouquet. Okay. Wow, a lot of good stuff in the mirror. Another safe, advanced, only able to break into it. Another grenade bouquet. Gotta watch out for those. Wow, a lot of humans that were here. Oh, and a place to cook? That's nice. Man, this is a, a, a bit of a rough environment for everybody. I'll take the more rat meat. Why not? So I'm cooking. I'm a little overweight, so let me just limp my way over to the food real quick. All right, dropping some fans and things. We're not really doing a lot of building, so I think it's uh, it's okay to be dropping those. Some gamma rounds, some mentats, and psycho. Sheesh, this place has got everything. This was a hell of a spot to break into and just discover. I mean, ooh, we got a dude up here who has a lot of things on him, too. Wow. Oh, our character's hungry. All this eating humans is just making me want to eat my own human. But luckily, I have mutt chops, and we're not going to do that quite yet. Okay, so we're gonna dive down into this spot, see what's in here. A little worried, I kinda wanna actually drop a save before I do it. Okay, one save dropped on a bed that probably would work for a couple hours sleep, way longer than that. Brackets aren't wiggling around or anything. Nuka Cola Kiwanum. Some more bottles, which I'm just collecting for. Ooh, a hazmat suit? Wow. This is a legit underground bunker. Bonnie, honey, if you're able to hear this message, the boys and I are safe at home in the bunker. I pray that you're still okay. I want to be out there for you more than anything, but people here are relying on me. I can't let them down. Boys say hi, and they love you. Old Miss Chapel says hi, too. I love you so much. Please, come home. This has been a preview. Wow. Message. Message repeats in three seconds. Some psycho in the bathroom. I don't know why you would take psycho in the bathroom when you're the only one who lives here. Purified water and stim packs and some mentats. Man, that's Wow. A lot of stuff here too. Whole high capacity combat rifle. Let's grab all these. See if we can we can't break that. But we do have an armor workbench down here. Do we have a weapons workbench? Because that's what I'm really looking forward to right now. Ooh, Wayne's Terminal. So Wayne's Terminal is not the person who he was. we were just hearing people talk about. Made it home. I told him instead of going in that vault. Instead of going in that vault? Oh, no! So we were listening to Wayne reach out to Bonnie, and this is Wayne's Terminal. Wow, so he's going out looking for his neighbors, and and it's the first ghoul affected by the dropping of the bombs. So the, I haven't read about people who lived after the bombs fell. I've only read about people living in vaults. Happy birthday, Bonnie. Oh man, so they're building a wall. Wow. That's so cool about them living out here. So let's, we'll disengage the safe lock. And then we'll play the tape. Here we go. Mama, this is David. The Batman came back. I saw the shoe, Mr. Lance, and he fell off the roof. Michael said he'd be okay, but he's moving. David, come on. That's it. We 
had to grab our stuff. No! I have to leave a note for Mama so she can find us. <laughs> Boys, come on. Stop We're it! leaving. Now! The psycho in the bathroom, the men tats, jangles the moon monkey. Wow. Holy crap. Living in the world after the bombs fell. Insanely terrifying sounding. Holy shit. So, well, I have a place to save. These beds will do perfectly. Wow. This is, it's really interesting hearing about life after the bomb. Because I thought the bombs hit. It, it was just ghouls, and then it was just people in vaults after that. That's what I thought it was. I thought all the survivors were people who survived in the vaults. But in fact, it's some people are suffering from the radiation sickness, uh, but it, didn't, it destroyed civilization. It didn't destroy humanity. And so I guess perhaps the vaults were a form of civilization being preserved. I mean, at least on paper. Reality vault Tech didn't really do that. That is so cool and interesting to see. These stories I've been hearing about these. Oh, man. So the town, they basically, they were convinced that his mom has died. No one's really sure. And he's Wayne's message for 200 years has, 200 years have been being sent to Bonnie. Oh, oh, man, that hurts. That is sad. And then the kid trying to grab Jangles. He didn't grab Jangles. They had to go. <laughs> Oh, man, and the bad men came back, and uh, Michael was being a good older brother. I don't know which one of them was using the drugs. It, it's not a matter, and you know, because, I mean, this is a crazy place, and I guess sometimes they just needed something. Oh, oh, man, it gets the heart. Anyway, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button underneath me, and, of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back, and the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later. Bye. Thank you.